Maynard Dixon, a prolific artist from the previous century, is best known for his vibrant paintings of the American West. He spent much of his life roaming the Western United States, which he loved so much, capturing on canvas images of the peoples and places he saw. But during the Great Depression in the 1930s, Dixon's artistic focus changed. He painted a series of images depicting striking and displaced workers. One of those paintings, Forgotten Man, captured the poignant feelings of so many people during that time. A man sits on the curb with his head down and his back against a wall of anonymous legs. The people behind him seem to pass by quickly. They are engaged in life, purposeful, going somewhere. But this person, this forgotten man, sits unseen, cast aside, and ignored by those around him. He seems dejected, worn out, exhausted with life. Maynard Dixon's painting has a certain timelessness about it. Who has not felt lonely or forgotten at times? Sometimes it seems like everyone else is moving forward, productive and successful. Meanwhile, we may feel that the world is passing us by, that we are forgotten. At such times, it's helpful to remember that no matter how we are treated by others, we are never forgotten by God. He has placed good things in our lives that can brighten our outlook if we will only seek them. He has sent us here with a purpose, to bring goodness to our little part of the world. We can start by realizing that we aren't the only ones who may feel forgotten. We can notice the unnoticed. We can strive to do something each day, perhaps some little thing that helps lift someone who is down. We can do our part to help ensure that there are no forgotten men or forgotten women. If we can do this, the seed of hope will begin to take root and grow in our heart. Most often, it won't be a quick or dramatic change, but in small and simple ways, the light of hope and the promise of better days will come.